Jackie. Thank you for joining me for today's chair yoga practice. All you'll need are some comfy clothes and a four-legged chair. Let's get started. To begin, we'll start with some cleansing breaths. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, feet firmly planted on the ground, shoulders rolled back. You can place your hands on your thighs, palms down, or palms up. If you wish, you can close your eyes. Let's begin by taking a nice inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, opening that chest, exhale, letting it all go. Inhale once more through the nose. And exhale out of the mouth. Take a couple more rounds of breath at your own pace finding your center for today's practice. If you close your eyes, you can begin to open them now. As we go ahead and begin stretching our neck, placing your left hand on the top of your head, gently move your left ear down to your left shoulder. We're not pulling with our hand, we're just placing a little bit of weight here. We can add a little bit of movement, rolling our head forward and rolling back. Rolling forward and rolling back. Releasing the left hand, come up with your right hand, placing it gently on your head rocking that right ear down to your shoulder, rolling forward and rolling back. Releasing the right hand, bring both hands to your shoulders as we go ahead and inhale, bringing your shoulders back and exhale rounding the shoulders forward. We'll do this a couple more times. Inhale, opening the chest, and exhale, rolling the shoulders forward. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, shoulders forward. Go ahead and release your hands. Let's just do a couple of shoulder rolls at your own pace. Back. And forward. We're going to do some sh little wrist rolls here, rolling our wrists, just getting a little bit of movement through our body here, and then pause, opposite direction. Got a couple of snap crackles and pops. That's okay. <laughs> All right, coming back to center, we'll go ahead and move into eagle arms. This is another stretch for your arms and shoulders to help us get going. We're gonna go ahead and swoop our right arm up here into a 90 degree angle, and we'll wrap our left arm around it. You can have a little elbow hug here, wrapping it once or twice. Your Hands can be against each other like this, or palms touching, listening to your body and finding what feels comfortable for you. So we'll be here in these eagle arms, and we'll inhale as we look up, lifting the chest open, and exhale, rolling forward, rounding the spine. Inhale, lifting our arms up. Exhale rounding the spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come back to center. Release the arms, give them a little shake, and we'll do opposite arms this time. So hook the left arm up, and we'll be wrapping our right arm around this time. So if you're here, that's quite all right. And then if you'd like, you continue wrapping, or if not, you can stay here, whatever's comfortable for you. 
Again, we'll inhale as we lift up, opening the chest, and exhale, letting it all go as we round the spine down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, coming down. One more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, coming back down. Releasing the arms, shake them out. Let's go ahead and place both of our hands on our legs for cat-cow variation. So you'll begin by curling the spine like a Halloween cat. And then we'll inhale as we open the chest coming forward. Exhale, rounding the spine. And push those arms straight out. And then exhale, opening back up. Bringing that chest forward and then coming back for cat. This curved spine. Go ahead and shift our weight back into our chair if you've been scooting around. We're going to lift up one leg. Option here to extend the leg out, leaving it resting on the ground, or you may interlace your fingers underneath your thighs just to give them a little bit of support. Here we're going to go ahead and do a couple ankle rolls in one direction. To intensify this, like I said, you can extend. Just find what's comfortable for you. Pause opposite direction. And go ahead and point the toes and flex the foot. Point the toes, flex the foot. Two more rounds, you got this. Point the toes, flex the foot. Point the toes, Go ahead and release that foot back down. Give yourself a little shimmy. You got it. One more side. Lift up that left leg, extending out long in front of you, resting it on the ground, or interlacing the fingers underneath the thigh for support. We'll begin with ankle rolls on the left foot. Pause, reverse. You know what's coming next. Go ahead and point those toes, flex the foot. Point the toes, flex the foot. One more time, point the toes, flex the foot. Go ahead and release. Awesome job. All right, finding the center on our chair once more. We'll go ahead and do a couple rounds of sun salutations. We'll begin by inhaling, sweeping arms up and overhead, finding a nice back stretch here. And exhale, forward fold, slowly lowering down. You can bring your hands to the ground, to your shoes, or even onto the tops of your thighs here for support. Taking a breath. Exhale. Inhale as we halfway lift, pushing onto the tops of our thighs if you're here, creating a flat spine. And then exhale. Lowering back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then go ahead and sweep the arms up and overhead, finding length through your spine. And exhale as you lower all the way back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Forward fold, let it all go. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Finding nice stretch here. 
and exhale, forward fold. You guys got this. It's our last one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale as you sweep the arms up and overhead and come back down. Whew. Let's go ahead and scoot just a little bit forward as we open up our legs here. You can shimmy your toes and ankles out. And then you'll see here that your legs are just in like a V shape here. I'm gonna keep everything in line, knees not to pull out forward over your feet. And then we'll go ahead and rest our left forearm here onto our left thigh. We'll sweep the right arm up and overhead, inhaling as we try to stretch the right side of our body. Just go ahead and find length here, reaching for the sky, giving a wave to our friends. Pause, taking a breath. And then we'll go ahead and move into some arm circles. Big car wash circles. Just sweeping all the way around. Car wash circles. Scrub a dub dub. Pausing at the top, reverse. Coming all the way back around. Coming back around. And then reaching once more. Release back to center. Let's bring your right forearm down to rest on your right thigh, extending left arm up and overhead. Take a big breath in, stretching the left body. Reach, reach, reach. Arm circles. Sweep that left arm up and around. Big waves to all our friends and family. Sweep. Coming to a pause at the top and reverse. Three more arm circles. Two, one, and reach once more. And come back to center. You can go ahead and shimmy those feet back together. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're still seated properly in our chair, finding height in the spine. Let's go ahead and place our left hand on our right knee and go ahead and inhale as you lift up the chest, keeping everything open and exhale, twisting back to gaze to the back of the room. You can use your right hand as support on the back of the chair, or you can even just place it here on the side of the chair, whatever feels comfortable for you. Inhale, lifting the chest up. Exhale, twist to look back. Take a breath. And release, coming back to center. Right hand on your left knee. Go ahead and inhale as you find height, lifting up through the crown of the head. Left hand comes back. Exhale, twist, bringing your gaze behind you. Remembering to keep that chest open, only twisting as far as your body will allow. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, twist. Take a breath, and release, coming back to center. Bring your right ankle to rest on top of your left thigh. This is going to offer a hip stretch here. It's a good opportunity to assess your ankles and feet. Just taking a moment to sit tall. And if you'd like further stretch, you can go ahead and reach forward with your chest here, bending gently and slowly, remembering to breathe. You can have your hands here on your leg for support. And then offering just a gentle push with the right hand onto the right knee just to give a little bit more intensity to that hip stretch. 
taking two rounds of breath here. Release that right foot back down to the ground. Left foot now crossing over our right thigh, sitting up tall, left hand with a gentle pressure on the left knee, and then just resting the right hand here for support. And then you can go ahead and lean forward if you'd like to intensify that stretch on your hip. Taking some breaths. Coming back up to center, release your left foot back down to the mat. Go ahead and shake out those arms, finding a little groove, pitter-patter the feet. And go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.